What is going on everybody? Welcome to OSRS Quick Tips and today's request comes in from Richard F. Recommended Slayer Points, Unlocks, Rewards, Extends, How to Decide Slayer Block List, and Tips for the Wilderness for Wildy Noobs. Now unfortunately I can't do all of this in three minutes so we will cover the Unlocks, Rewards, Extends, and how to decide your block list. The first thing I want to cover is actually how to decide your block list. Now everybody's different. Everybody has tasks they really can't stand and some that they really like. Now for this, you'll want to head over to the wiki and check out each Slayer Master. Whichever one you're using, you'll notice that there is a task weight. If you need information on task weights, you can check out the card popping up now and check that video. Basically, you will want to block tasks that you don't like to do with a higher task weight because they will be assigned more often. You'll want to save your points for skipping those lower task weights since you'll see them less often, therefore you'll spend less points in the long run. As far as unlocks go, there are four that I believe are must-haves and you should get them as early as possible. The first one you will want to get is Bigger and Badder. This will allow you to get superior Slayer monsters, which will give you a boost in XP when you kill one and give you the ability to hit the Eternal Gem and Imbued Heart drop table. Next one is going to be the Slayer Helm, which will allow you to unlock the Slayer Helm, which has all of the headgear in it, as well as provide you with a boost of plus 15% to attack and strength while on a Slayer task. Next one is going to be like a boss, and if you are over level 100 combat, I suggest getting this. If you want to see a little bit more money out of your Slayer tasks, it will allow you to do boss tasks. And the last one is going to be the Slayer Ring. This one is more of a convenience, but once you are 75 crafting and with this unlocked, you can make your own Slayer Rings to teleport you around to get to Slayer places more conveniently. The only thing I suggest that you actually buy from a Slayer Master is the Herb Sack for 750 points. It will hold 30 of each grimy herb, and I take it with me pretty much everywhere I go because the herbs do give you a nice little boost in profit picking them up as you go along. Next up is going to be Task Extensions. First one I suggest is Black Dragons, and this will allow you to do Brutal Black Dragons. They are pretty good money. Rune Dragons, same reason, pretty good money, but you will need Dragon Slayer 2 done to do those. Aberrant Spectres, very good cannon task in the Stronghold Slayer Cave. Dust Devils, for bursting or barraging for magic experience. Skeletal Wyverns, because they are also good money. Gargoyles, because it is very convenient to have a lot more of those when chasing the pet. Necrails, bursting or barraging those in the Catacombs of Karen. And Kraken, because it is an incredible AFK boss and you will never lose money there. And my last unlock regarding an NPC, and this is really the only one that you will need, is the Gargoyle Smasher. It will automatically finish off the Gargoyle once it is low enough HP. So that is it guys for Slayer tasks, unlocks, and all that good stuff in three minutes or less. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy everybody.